Hey, you! Wake up! You in the other cell! What? Who are you? I'm the voice inside your head. Who else? What do you want? You tried to escape the other day, didn't you? Delta Six. Now you have no idea who you are anymore. But then again, you did not before, so it doesn't matter. Okay. You've never seen them, our captains, have you? I think it's because they're afraid of us. They never show their faces. They want to catch you when you're vulnerable. It's because they feel you. Then you know what they'll do? They just erase your memory again. They keep doing it over and over and over. It could make a guy crazy, you know? I speak from experience, after all. What do you want? Just to warn you, that's all. I'll be out of here soon enough. I'm tired of trying to escape over and over. It's not worth it. I'm completing my final exam today, and then I get to leave this place. You get to leave? And you will too, as long as you follow orders. Oh man, I think they heard me. Go back to bed, quick. The system is resetting for the day. Good morning, Delta-6. I was instructed to refresh your memory in our daily operations. All floors will be open to you for most of the day, except maintenance. You will only go there when assigned maintenance duty. If you are called for maintenance duty, we will page you and give you the car to unlock the maintenance door. Throughout the day, you have scheduled tests that you must complete. Once you pass the final test, you will be granted leave from this facility and be renewed as a citizen of this galaxy. There will be three meals served each day. Meals are redeemable only through the use of the food tickets you are rewarded after completing your tests. Please report to the mess hall for breakfast, and to the testing chambers after that. You will be testing in Blue Chamber 2 today. You have three tests remaining until the final exam. Once again, report to the mess hall for breakfast, and then to Blue Chamber 2. End of message. <laughs> Charlie, good to see you, buddy. Oh, you don't remember me, do you? I told you not to go through with it, man. I told you not to do it. Who are you? I'm Balder. Somebody stole your food ticket, huh? Yes. Don't worry, you can have the rest of mine. We're friends, Charlie. We've stuck together since day one. Have you talked to anyone else yet? Yes. Who? It was Epsilon 5, wasn't it? I... I know it was. Okay, listen up. Before you try to escape, some bad things happened because of her. It's because of her that everybody hates you now. There's a reason nobody will talk to you. If she pretends to be your friend, don't believe her. She's trying to trick you again, all right? Okay. 
Why did I escape? Don't ask me, man. I'm not the one who wanted to erase his own memory. All I know is, I saw you talking to Giselle the day before you did it. What? Maybe you should go find her. Breakfast is over. Please report to your assigned positions for first duty. Guess I'd better get going. I'll be in the gym after testing's over if you need me. Keep in touch. I have to teach you the stage of your training. All right, let's get down to business. Today we will continue with your gun training. These tests may take a while to complete and may require some practice, so you will be free to leave this segment and come back if you cannot immediately complete them. Let's start, shall we? Today we are going to add another element to your training. Please take the gun from the pedestal and observe. Go ahead, pick up the gun. Please assume the cover position. Now then, most often times in battle, instead of facing a single lone target, you will face multiple targets. Combat is carried out the same way as before, but you now have three different positions, two positions out of cover. You can press A or D to go out of cover either to your left or your right. In addition, pressing S will return you to your cover position from any out of cover spot. Try going out of cover to your left now. You can fire at any target from any out of cover position by cycling between them with W. Try it out. The key to fighting multiple targets is knowing this, you can switch between cover positions to fire at enemies without waiting for them to go back into cover. Now then, we're going to try a little training exercise. You are going to have to hit each target for five points, while a simulated countermeasure is carried out. Headshots are worth two points, body shots are worth one point. You see that light that just popped on? That means that the enemy is currently firing on that side of your cover zone, so you will only want to attack from the other side. I want you to hit each target for five points without getting hit by the light. Ready? Begin. Thank you. 
right, so you felt the simulated shock. Your enemies will adapt to which side you are on if you linger there for too long. Taking this in mind, you'll only want to pop out for a quick one or two shots and then pop back into cover. But as I said earlier, that's your first strike. If you get three strikes, we'll start the training exercise over. Have at it again. Strike two, one more, and it's over. Nicely done, Delta-6. Good work. Now you may take a break if you wish, but if you want to begin the real test for your food ticket, replace the gun and have at it again. You may begin the real test whenever you're ready. Just pick up the gun again. It's you again. I'll send up the gun if you want to practice. Ten hits on each target and you will be rewarded your food ticket for today. Ready? Begin. Strike one. Ten hits, each target. Excellent work, Delta-6. Of course, I don't expect you to instinctively learn this at once, so you can practice this section as much as you'd like throughout today's routine. If you are done with the firing range, please replace the pistol on the pedestal. Don't forget your food ticket on the way out. You've earned it. for unauthorized testing apparatus. Scan complete.
Hey. Hello. Well, I finished my computer training for the day. Did you get your ticket? Yes. Are you okay? Do you remember anything else? Not really. We usually go back together after the testing. You stop them from stealing my food tickets that way. Okay. Shall we go then? You said that you had to escape for a reason. Do you remember why? No, not fully. By the way, have you seen Balder yet? Who's Balder? I'm worried he's gonna try something now that your memory is erased. Are you eating now? Maybe. Well, I'll be in the mess hall. What do you know about Balder? He doesn't like you. Nobody likes him, really. What do you know about Giselle? You said she was trying to make a map of this place, so she had you escape. Maybe you should find her and talk to her. Tell me about yourself. You saved me when I first came here, from Balder. I don't know what would have happened if it wasn't for you. What do you know about the director? He... he just seems to be in charge of everyone. That's all I know. What do you know about this place? I don't know. They seem like they're trying to train us for something. Goodbye. Bye. Charlie, how's it going? What do you know about Giselle? Not much. She keeps to herself. Do you know where I can find her? She's on maintenance duty. Why? Never mind. What about yourself? Me? What about me? We've stuck together ever since we got here. What do you know about Epsilon 5? I told you, don't trust her. She's a tricky sort. You never know what she's really trying to do. What do you know about the director? What do you mean? 
He's the only doctor who speaks to us, and he seems to be in charge. If anybody's gonna let us out of here, it's him. Where are we? None of us know anything. We all woke up here with no memory, and we all want to get out. We do know people get out because we never see them again. They must have passed their final exams and got out of here. Can you help me with something? Just show me what you want. Anybody in there? Giselle? What do you want, Charlie? Did you tell me to escape? Shut up! Don't talk! Get in or don't. Don't walk in the room or the camera will see you. I don't think they have any hearing receptors in here. I've checked before. So, Charlie, how is it that you can remember now? Epsilon-5 told me. Don't be mad. If I kept everyone who made an escape for me after they had their memories wiped again, there would be way too many people to bust out of here. I don't hate you. It's just easier to escape with less people. You were going to use me. You knew what you were getting into. That's why you had Epsilon-5 remind you. It's nothing personal, Charlie. Why try to escape? Don't you know what this place is? It's a rehab center for criminals. That means they wipe your brain when you get in, and they wipe your brain when you go out. I don't know about you, but I'm not ready to lose my identity again after already losing it once. This consciousness is the only one I have, and I'm not going to let some other person decide who I am, what I've done, and what I act like. Even if I live again out of this place, it's the same as being dead to me if I don't know about it. That's why I need to escape. That's why I need to get out of here and find my old memory, who I really am. And that's why you agreed to help me, because you saw the same thing. Having your memory wiped and being turned into a new person is the same as dying again. 
but I had my memory wiped to help you. But you're still the same person as before. You still have the same people to remind you. After you leave this place, we'll never see each other again. You won't be aware of your other consciousness. The way I see it is, even though we existed before and will exist in the future, it doesn't matter because we only have this consciousness, who we are right now, and I want to keep it that way. That's why you want to escape? You don't want them to rehabilitate you? If I don't escape, I know they'll wipe my memory again when I'm done with the testing. That's why I can't pass my final exam. If I do, they'll send me straight out of here and I won't have this consciousness ever again. You were just going to take my map and leave me in the dark. Well, I guess you were smarter than that since somehow you're here right now. But you don't remember who you were before. It doesn't matter. If I really need to know, they should have my old identity on their memory banks somewhere. If you want yours, we can swing by. But then you'll probably lose this memory in the process. So who cares? Am I right? When are you escaping? Why should I tell you? You're not in unless you're a useful asset. And right now, you're not a useful asset. But I helped plot the map. And now I don't need you anymore. So get lost. Who else is going with you? I'm not gonna tell you. I want in. I said useful asset. What can I do to help? I don't know. What can you do? What? What are they training you in now? Guns. Guns? Now that actually might be a useful commodity. Tell you what. If you can get me a gun, you can be part of the escape. All right. It's not that easy, though. You'll have to sneak it out of the testing room. God knows how. They have sensors to detect if you've moved anything out of the testing chamber. I'll get it out. I don't think you get how hard this is going to be, but okay. Don't come back here until you get it. Close the door on your way out. 